We're back here in the daytime kitchen with Nita Thompson having a great time talking about candied bacon crackers. Oh man, I can see a bunch of these being made all, from now all the way through the end of the year. Even yeah. the end of the new year. I, we seriously. Get into bowl games and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's why I, I started to make something else. I started to make um, Mexican cornbread because I thought. Now I like Mexican yeah, cornbread. Yeah, that goes too. with the yeah. cool weather. But then I was like, gosh, you can do. Like this can go to a million things with mm -hmm. you for the next couple of months. So um, next th two and a half months. <laughs> so um, okay. So what we have here yep. is we have the yumminess that has come <laughs> out of the oven, and um, so what we're gonna do here, yeah. I have I have put um, some more syrup right. over the top of them. Give them that glistening look. Yes. yes. And that gives, you know, because it kind of soaks up, mm -hmm. but you want that sweet with that oh, salty yeah. from the bacon right when you taste it. So, in the meantime, right. let's jazz them up just a little bit more. Just put a little and more brown sugar. I'm going sugar. to put yeah. brown sugar on a few of them. Okay. And you can do whatever you want with them. I mean, this is this and I, you mentioned hot sauce. I know some folks, I have a son who would probably be sitting there dousing them. Yes. I mean, yes. Just, just loading them up. But That's not your thing. You could actually, you could go different routes with these. There's just so many different ways. You could put a little cheese on there. You yeah. Could put, you could put like a little cherry tomato on there. Whatever yeah. you like. Yeah. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Mm -hmm. So this is your canvas. Yeah. And so... I'm putting a little bit of extra. Now, like I said, some people don't like the crunch from the brown sugar. Brown sugar, yeah. I actually like the texture, mm -hmm. especially it, if you put it on there and when it's in the oven, it, it gets it even a little more caramelized yeah. and crunches. So, okay, you dig in. All right. And what I'm, I'm going to try do, this one right here, okay? You keep talking. And I've got my Milo's ready, so I'm going to try one of these. All right. And, and Amy told me not to eat all of these. <laughs> <laughs> and there's more in the oven. Oh my gosh, they smell so good. Mm. And I've got some little jalapenos here. Chris said no, no, no on his. Do not put that on mine. And um, and you can do little pieces of it. You could put pimentos mm -hmm. on the top. It would be so pretty. Um, you could do all kinds of things. But I will just tell you, the beauty of these is the simplicity of oh, yeah. them, and they are just so good by themselves. They are amazingly good, yes. And another thing that is a pro tip for you as you're going into the holidays, mm -hmm. um, if you're mixing drinks, punches, that kind of thing, um, this little guy right here has become one of my favorite things in the kitchen. Okay. In mixing drinks. Okay. Yes. You know how you end up having to do um, simple syrup and oh, yeah. that kind of thing for different drinks, right. whether they're alcoholic or mocktails. Um, I use this as a base. That's the extra sweet. It's the, our new extra sweet. Mm -hmm. um, it's we've got it out now. The new part, really, this has been out for about a year, mm -hmm. but we've got it out in the gallon now. And I mix it with just about every every juice or drink cocktail that I'm doing. And there are so many cocktail and mocktail uh, recipes that call for that simple syrup. You can just substitute mm -hmm. the simple syrup for the extra sweet tea, and it would be delicious. Yes. I can see that. Yes. I'm glad you brought That's a great tip. Yes, yeah. it really has worked well. We've had uh, some of our neighbors, we've had some things, and I've done some peach peach flavored things and different different um, uh, what all have I done? Uh, oh, I did some apple um, okay. just recently, and um, they they said, you know, I'll make this at home with the apple juice, and it doesn't taste mm. quite like yours. And I'm like, okay, that's well, really. Folks, I'm gonna tell you yeah. something. Make these, drink this, and that's a great afternoon. Yeah, okay? it really is. Yes. And for more, check out drinkmilos.com. Happy Thanks. Thanksgiving and happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, can't believe it's here.